it's another day another project today what I'm gonna do is I have a sprinkler head right here and I'm actually going to move it over to here and uh, instead of doing this direction of a sweep it's just gonna do the sweep of this direction here and then I'm gonna add another sprinkler head right here that'll sweep this small area right here once I'm done with that I bought some new pots once I have the the trench dug and everything I'm gonna put down some weed barrier I'm gonna fill these pots up with soil this one here and this one here put some more soil in this one and uh, plant some plants in there So what I've done is I've dug basically pretty close to where that is. I found the pipe. I just need to continue the trench. And then down here, um, I don't know if you watched previous videos, but right here is where I ran the uh, electrical pipe. And then right here is where I'm going to put the sprinkler head. I'm going to have to contend with a huge rock, so I'm going to have to dig that part out. I got more landscaping rocks. Square the, the trench off. Right now we're gonna dig out, dig out the original sprinkler head. Meanwhile, my wife has to decide to take this big steel container. I've seen those used when you're kind of bobbing for apples and stuff like that. But anyway, she's gonna turn that into a planter. So I drilled some holes in the bottom and she's gonna spray paint it. Basically just shine in the garden. Orange. So you're gonna paint it orange. Yeah. Have you ever used spray paint before? Maybe. Well, we will see how well this, uh, this spray paint will will bond to the metal. It'll probably have to be a couple of coats. Back to the hand. Basically cut this pipe here. For this little run here, I'm just going to use a couple, a couple of uh, used uh, pipes already. These are the special, these are kind of, I guess, specialty. They're made by Rainbird, which I've never seen them in a store. But what they do is they take a sprinkler head, it allows you to connect a sprinkler head to a half inch irrigation tubing. So anyway, just to make it a little bit more watertight, I'm gonna use this plumber's tape and wrap this around. So it'll create more of a seal. really will keep water from linking right up against the sprinkler head. What you do is just basically screw that in there just like that. So now all I've got to do is just cut it to the length of where I want to put it. I 
Now, I'll change this head out later. So we can lay that down. That's going to now be below grade. Let's spill the dirt in. playing with the step to get it level and everything. Push it down in there. Place the soil along here too. Kind of level it out. Make sure everything looks good here. All right, so let's go down and finish. I'm going to try to put it kind of bottom part of this project line with the porch support as I can. Now we've got we got to create a, an end point for this pipe. Put the tie wrap in there, and tie it off real tight. And what it's going to do is it's going to create that choke point there which will stop the water from flowing. This seems like a very archaic way, but if you were to buy the actual part that ends it, it's basically a piece of plastic that folds over just like that. Probably cut it like right here. And with that, all of our connections are officially made. We are done. All of our connections are made. We just now need to fill in the dirt. They want to keep it straight to make sure that it stands up as straight as possible. Just walk along the path. Is it cooler there? Is the mud cooler? Eh? Mommy, the mud is cooler. Now that I've gotten the underground portion of this little project done, I'm going to work on visual side of it. So what comes next is I'm going to real quickly level out that pot there, and then I'm going to come and put fabric cloth all the way down from the whole side and I'm going to put landscaping edging in you know on top of the fabric cloth to hold it in place um, and then I'll put pine straw all right I'm going to use the landscaping fabric to create a straight edge I'm going to run it exactly where I want it to go Put it. These fabric staples so I can hold this fabric in place. Cut a hole out here to allow the sprinkler head to rise up. There to hold that in place. Down here somewhere, I have one of those little permanent boxes. Great access hole for that. This planter is pretty heavy. Roll out the length of fabric I need, and I'll work with this area of the fabric. Got much my uh, edging and it's all rolled out so it'll take some time to straighten out and 
starting right here, we'll begin the sweep. So I'll put another one in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll put the. We'll start the sweep here to make our corner. I put the weed barrier down. I've got the holes to find where sprinkler heads need to pop up, where uh, termite inspection hole. Weed barriers very easy to cut. You just use regular scissors. Um, the real hurry on doing this was is that I need I got plants that need to go in the pots, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this soil and fill up this purse pot here. I filled the bottom part up with just some soil. It's uh, they call it garden soil delivered on a truck also going to put some potting soil in and I'm going to put this miracle grow potting mix on the top six inches perfect baby I'm going to put a little bit of soil there on top of the fabric to kind of level out that planter and then uh, We'll decide we're going to put the third planter. Kind of figured out my arch that I want to use. So I'm just going to kind of get rid of this grass here. Right here. All right, so we've got the sweep that we want to use. So now I'm going to use the multi tool for the next project. All right, so we've got our curve detail here. So let's continue on with every seven step. Every seven is a step. Ran out of room on my card, so it stopped recording yesterday. But as you can see, I uh, put my pots in, I finished my edging, I put down the, the uh, fabric weed cloth, and uh, anyway, I put my, uh, I leveled my plots out, I filled them up with soil, and I even planted them a little bit. Switched out my sprinkler head. I had a 270 degree one that was spraying the porch and all along here. And I'm actually going to upgrade this to a 3000, but do it for 90 degrees. Look at that, perfect. And then the other sprinkler head gets that area wet. There we go, I think that's gonna work. My uh, wife painted um, this, uh, this metal bucket right here. I put some holes in the bottom of it and I'm gonna put some, uh, I'm gonna put some soil in there. All right, now we are ready for her to plant her uh, flowers and plants. Garden bed period. Um, first year I planted a 
peppers and herbs and things like this. It's a very solid work area. Uh, we got one more. These three pieces, the length that they need to be, then I don't have enough to put this bed in place and finish it off. Come with six different types of lettuce. Um, but anyway, very easy to get. Uh, it's not any different than the hydroponics set I set up last year. Zero days since it was planted. different plants you know these are the I ripped up the plant but that's the part of the tomato plant and some of the pepper plants and stuff like that and then I threw away some kitchen scraps inside there so I put a Renogy 100 watt solar panel on it with a solar panel mount it's actually tilting it pretty good direction towards where the Sun is in the winter time 